Configuration Hub is a web application that allows you to manage historic systems and their components. Hi, I'm Swati. I'm an information developer at GE Digital. I'm going to show you how to install the required components and get started with Configuration Hub in Historia 9.1. Let's begin. You will need a machine with the Windows operating system and Google Chrome. The other requirements are installed automatically. To use Configuration Hub, you must install the Historian server, the collectors, and web-based clients. You can install them in any order, on the same machine or on different machines. Let me first show you how to install the server. On the Historian installer, select Install Historian Server. The welcome page appears. Select Next. Accept the license agreement. You can change the installation drive if needed or leave the default value. You can change the location of the log files folder or leave the default value. Select the checkbox confirming that you want to use web-based clients. You will need it to use Configuration Hub. And UAI is required for user authentication and identity-based security for applications and APIs. If you want to use an existing UAI server, provide the name of that machine in the UAI server name field. If you do not have a UAI server, you can install it while installing web-based clients. Provide the name of the machine on which you are going to install or have already installed web-based clients. If the machine uses a fully qualified domain name, provide the same. By default, it takes the local machine details. If you want to change the default port used by the UAS server, provide the value here. Make a note of this value. You will need it while installing web-based clients. Remember that if you are installing a distributed or mirror server, you must provide the same UA details as the primary server. We'll talk about these different types of historian servers in a minute. If you select this checkbox, all the historian security groups will be created. They add an additional layer of security to your historian system. To access Configuration Hub, you must add users to these groups as shown later in this video. If you want to install a standalone historian system, select Historian Single Server. This type of system is suitable for a small-scale historian setup. If you want to install a horizontally scalable historian system, which contains multiple historian servers, select Historian Mirror Primary Server. You can then add machines and distributed or mirror servers to this system. If you have already installed the primary server and you now want to add distributed or mirror servers to it, select Historian Distributed Mirror Node. Select Install. The installation begins. If you are asked to reboot your system, select Yes. Now let's install the collectors. On the Historian Installer, select Install Collectors. The welcome page appears. Select Next. Accept the license agreement. If you want to change the installation drive, provide the same or leave the default C drive as is. If you want to change the location of the log files folder, provide the same or leave the default value as is. The Historian Server details are required only if you have installed the Historian Server on a different machine. By default, it takes the local machine details. If, however, the historian server is on a different machine or if strict collector authentication is enabled, enter the credentials of the historian server user. Strict authentication is used if you want to manage collectors remotely. Select Install. The installation begins. All the collectors will be installed automatically. You just need to add the collector instances and begin working on them. And if IFIX and Simplicity are available on the same machine, the IFIX and OPC color instances are created automatically. Now let's install web-based clients. On the historian server, select Install web-based clients. The welcome page appears. Select Next. Accept the license agreement. If you want to change the default values for the port numbers, provide the values here. For the public HTTPS port, if you have changed the default value while installing the historian server, provide the same here. If, however, Operations Hub is on the same machine, this field is disabled and populated with the value you provided while installing Operations Hub. If you want to change the fully qualified domain names, provide the same. This allows you to access historian web applications remotely. You can use it to access web-based clients using alias names. Enter the value separated by commas. If, however, Operations Hub is on the same machine, this field is disabled and populated with the value you provided while installing Operation Sum. Remember, do not enter a space between the values and FQDN is not supported for Configuration Hub. UAA is required for user authentication and identity-based security for applications and APIs. 
both the historian server and web based clients must point to the same uaa server you can choose to install uaa or use an existing one if you want to install uaa leave this checkbox cleared create the admin client secret by entering it in both these fields the client secret must not contain only numbers must not begin or end with a special character and must not contain curly braces next to each other if you want to use an existing uaa server select this checkbox and then provide the url of the uaa server do not enter a trailing slash character and then provide the client id and secret of the uaa server and select test connection only after the connection is successful you can proceed to the next step do you want to install configuration hub or use an existing one if you want to install configuration hub leave this checkbox cleared if you want to change the default values provide the values here the installation folder remember you can install configuration hub only on c drive the username to connect to configuration hub the value that you enter can contain all alphanumeric characters and these special characters create a password to log into configuration hub by entering it in these two fields it must contain at least eight characters it can contain all alphanumeric characters and these special characters to use an existing configuration hub select this checkbox and then provide the server name of configuration hub if needed modify the port number for the web server that is nginx and the client id or leave the default values as is enter the client secret to connect to configuration hub select test connection only if the connection is successful you can proceed to the next step if you want to change the installation drive for web based clients provide the value here otherwise leave the default value as is if you want to change the log files folder provide the folder path here otherwise leave the default value as is if the historian server is on a different machine provide the host name here by default it takes the local host remember that it must be the name of a single server historian or a mirror primary server select install restart your system when prompted to do so web based clients are now installed we just have a few post installation tasks let's go through them quickly strict authentication is needed if you want to manage collectors remotely if you do not need it disable these options in historian administrator during the historian server installation did you select this checkbox to create security groups you must create a user and grant access access computer management create a local windows user with this format server name of web based clients dot admin and add the user to i had security admins group or you can create ua users and map their security groups depending on whether the user will use local or domain security groups select the appropriate option in historian administrator are web based clients and the historian server on different machines if yes you must enable trust for a client certificate for configuration hub on the machine on which you have installed web based clients copy the config hub root ca.crt file paste it to the destination computer double click the file to install the certificate the install certificate screen appears select install certificate select local machine select next select place all certificates in the following store select browse and then select trusted root certificate of horitis and select okay go next the final screen appears select finish a message appears indicating that the import was successful select okay and restart the browser during the historian server installation a self signed certificate is generated for use with configuration hub to ensure that google chrome trust the self signed certificate access configuration hub select not secure certificate certification path select the root certificate view certificate details copy to file follow the on screen instructions to save the certificate to a local file do not let the wizard select the store for you a security warning window may appear if it does just ignore the message the certificate is installed restart the browser and connect to the server open configuration hub if error messages do not appear the certificate is successfully imported Are you using an external UAA? You must import an issued certificate. Copy the issued certificate from the machine on which UAA is installed. Access the certificate management tool. Select external trust. Browse for the certificate and then select import. You can now access configuration hub. If you still cannot, 
start the GE operations of HTTP reverse proxy and the historian data archiver services. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, visit our website. Bye.